It's been an interesting show, Stretch. And and right now, where we're at right now, we're talking about the way things uh, have kind of unfolded with this this social media situation that that uh, Bronny James has once again found himself in the crosshairs of. Do you think his mom and father, uh, obviously LeBron, the LeBron James and Savannah James, do you feel as though they've handled this the right way in terms of uh, trying to protect their son? Hey, man, as far as handling a Bronny James, you know, I heard TJ say earlier that, you know, those are his parents. So a parent is going to do whatever they can possibly do to protect their child. But when you talk about preparing a Barney James versus a normal child, I guess a, a, a versus a normal kid. Which is a big question but, here. Yeah, it would never be able to happen. Right. Because look at uh, look at what LeBron has, has done and where he has been as far as a, a celebrity standpoint and being a basketball player. You know, he set the bar. You know what? There is no bar. The bar is gone. The bar has been uh, 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 obliterated. Disintegrated, <laughs> right. Obliterated. Uh-huh. Right? So you look at a situation like, how do you prepare your son at 16 years old, a Bronny James? He's playing high school basketball on national television like what, every, every, every week. How do you prepare him for playing basketball on national television? Those are things that we didn't have to deal with because we didn't live in this world of media and Instagram and all and all these different things. And, and and you know how this this internet world is. How do you think that those kids are going to play and prepare to play against him? They're going to try to do everything that they possibly can to destroy him and to try to make him look bad with the memes and all these different things. So you can't really prepare him for for what's going on in the social media because when he when he goes out and he performs against these kids, man, they're going to try to do everything that they possibly can to make him look bad. And there's really nothing. You, you can't discipline him or, or try to prepare him like a normal kid because his life is never going to be normal just because of who his father is. Right. Okay, but now let me ask you all this. Let me pose this question to both of you guys. And knowing that he's never going to get that fair opportunity, some would say that's the price that goes with the fame and fortune that that you have the luxury of having with having a LeBron James as your father. Others would say, wouldn't you wouldn't you assume that you have to guide your your kids to stay out of the crosshairs, not to expose yourself in ways where you can unnecessarily be targeted? Like he's a kid. Okay, but but again, but, is he allowed to be a kid that's yes. a normal kid? How and does that work? You you want him to be as normal as possible. And, he's in a, a in a not normal situation. Yeah, I mean, he's LeBron James' son. You're not going to be normal. That's just what it is. Right. But you he's want him gonna... like he he's going to be on social media. He's going to do things he shouldn't because he's a child and he will learn from it. That's that's just an evolution of becoming a young man, a child, a young man to an full-grown adult you make some mistakes along the way and and hopefully you have parents that can help you out along the way but he will never be a normal child because his father is lebron james it's very simple right hey listen he can he can make some mistakes but the scrutiny that he's going to receive from making those making those respect making those mistakes is not normal to a, a, a regular 16 year old you may never hear about those mistakes that those kids make but when he makes those mistakes at 16 being a son of LeBron James and everybody's, is it a mistake? Go, everybody's going to hear about it before they can even uh, try to prepare him for what is, is about to come is it a mistake so, that's no. a, now. That's a question. Is is hey, what he, Bronny he, James he, he did? Is that a mistake? What he did? No, it's not, not a mistake. You you like a picture? Hey, even even if he liked the picture because of the way she looked, that's not a mistake. He's a young man, and he might have right. saw something that he found attractive, and she can be older, and he liked the picture. So what? Hey, that's that's nothing, what it is. I, I hope he likes the picture. <laughs> Kudos to that young man. Right. <laughs> Kudos to him, but. Liking a picture at sixteen, 
he's been a 16 year old child, but people are looking at him like, you know what? His dad is LeBron James, so he's not supposed to be conducting his himself as such. But you have to let him be a child. But he's not a child in the eyes of of society, and and that's the unfortunate thing of, about this whole situation is that he would never know what it feels like to be a normal sixteen year old. It's a beautiful thing that we are taking uh, some amazing reps with with the 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 vacation time of of Dan <laughs> Patrick and the Danettes. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, you can actually tune in on Saturdays. Uh, we we come on from uh, you know nine to noon or three three to uh, five uh, where you're at uh, on the East Coast on it's called Up on Game. This is actually the cast of another show on Fox Sports Radio. So if you're enjoying this, uh, tune in, tell a friend, go subscribe to the podcast. You know it's it's pretty cool. Um, okay, so after that shameless plug, getting back to the the business at hand. I agree. I do not think that it was a a mistake on Bronny's part on his behalf. I also agree that children, young people, young young adults, teenagers should have the ability to to develop and grow and learn. Um, but I also understand how dangerous this world is, and and as famous as as one's parents may be as famous as your siblings may be whatever if the situation situation may call for you have to be able to adapt and to adjust to what the given scenarios and conditions are that surround you and your family that's just for me i'm more of a guy that is i get concerned like i have concerns and i want to shield my kids even if that means they don't get some of the luxuries, some of the luxuries that Bronny receives and our children receive being our kids are different luxuries than what regular, you know, civilian, we'll say civilian children are, are able to have. All right? So uh, different, you're using the word different? Different. It's different. I mean, come on, man. It's nah. definitely different, bro. That's not the right. That's it, not the correct word. It is the correct word. It is different <laughs> because the things that your kids are exposed to, like, like I'll give you a great example. All right, my kids were doing. We they were in school, and the teacher is talking about something that had to do with Barack Obama and Barack this and he's this and he's that and everybody in the class is listening and my daughter says to him he's not that's not true that's not that's not really how that's not really how he presents himself uh-huh and the teacher says to to her how you, know. you need to be quiet and you need to listen to what I'm oh, saying, oh. because that is the lesson. Uh, that's the lesson plan. And she said, well, wow. it, that just wasn't how it was when I spent time with him. Really? Talking about a, a, so <laughs> how do you ooh. have a comeback for that? You don't have you one. Can't. You got you to so, be quiet and listen. So, so what I'm saying, what I'm saying is some of the things that our kids are exposed to the, the people that are around them, the people that will make their, their decisions and their judgments or how they handle what they feel about Bronny or any of our kids that are exposed to different things, our kids have to be mindful for, for the simple sake of, of safety. But they're kids. I understand I mean, that. No, that's, they're, but that's he's sixteen. Thing about sixteen. It. But he all he did was like a picture. And so when to me that that is innocent as innocent can get. There's no harm in that. It's not like he's out there doing something he shouldn't do. He's doing something that he should do, and it's nothing wrong with it. I don't disagree I don't. with it. I do not disagree with that. But what I'm I guess what I'm trying to to ask and and try to understand is. It is when you have that much of a spotlight on you and and the right. scrutiny is going to be as high as it's going to be, do you limit your exposure in these situations based upon and teach your kids to limit their exposure? See, I, I try, like, honestly, yeah, no, I'll be or honest do you just you. let them go? I, I try to tell my kid, you're no different than anyone else. And, and so don't act like that. Don't be that way. And that's the goal is to hopefully 
your kids, regardless of what they have or do not have, you treat everybody the right way. You be understanding and you be kind to people until they give you a reason not to. That's to me. That's very simple. And that's how you should live life. See, I tell my kids they have to be aware. You have to be aware because you know what? Bad people are like the air you breathe. There's way more bad people in this world than there are good people. And and Look, I I don't want that one time. I don't want I don't want to have to my life to be totally altered by a one time because my kids did not they were not aware that there are animals out here and and how that applies to them in their own lives. That includes their social media interactions and everything. Hey, hey, you know what? Hey, as sad as it may sound, like LeBron's son and a normal 16-year-old child, they're held to different standards. They're held to different standards. Oh, yes. And one is 16, the other is 16. And it's looked down upon just to, just because of the fact of who his pops is, who his father is. And it's really not fair to him, but he does have to understand it. But at the same time, he's saying that, you know, I'm 16. Like I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be a young man, and I want to live as possible as a normal life as I possibly can. And people aren't letting him. But can that be so, costly, Plex? Is what it, I'm saying. I guess it, what it, I'm it saying is, it, it, can it, it be costly it, it to does, his well-being and to his welfare? He can't change that. Like, our kids, it's it. different. When we're talking LeBron James. He can't change that. You don't choose your parents. But you can limit it. It's all, how not, can, not how when can he's you an athlete. limit it? He's an athlete. It's almost, you no. can, he's an athlete. You can this, limit it by not exposing hey, yourself the, that the, way. The, no, the only way it can be limited if you just tell it to him time and time and time again until he's blowing his face. You can't limit him from making his own decisions. You can try to, you know, you know tell him over and over, but he's still going to make mistakes and he's still going to do those things and really the only way to prepare your your child for a a, a Bronny James and situations like this is to go through it you can tell it to him a thousand times experience is the best teacher but he can only learn from a situation where you tell him over and over and over again if he goes through it like I can tell my son something you know, he's going to make mistakes. Things things are going to happen because I've experienced them. But he's still going to want to, like, you know, oh, my dad told me this. But. Let me see if it's true. It's that, <laughs> one, it's that one time. Like, I'll give you a great example. I'll give you a great example. It's that one time where you're saying, okay, he's just being a kid. He's just experimenting. He's just seeing what's going on. And then he makes a move. He makes his decision. And say he goes to to hang out with one of these people that he's able to slide in to the DM and 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 go meet up with him, right? Now, where I come from, he's a target. Where you come from, he's oh, a target. Yes. Plex, where you come from, he's a target. So in right. those in those moments of it's just allowing him to be a kid, in my mind, you know what I'm thinking? That girl. He's going to be hanging out with that girl. I don't know he's hanging. My son is hanging out with that girl, right? But it happened right. because he's being a kid, and and it changes my life. Because you know what? He's a target. Somebody then ran up in there. He's in a compromising position. Somebody then took a video of him. Somebody then took a photo of him. They then robbed him. They holding him for for ransom. Whatever it may be. And and to some, that might sound outlandish and outrageous. To others, I've seen it happen to much lesser people. I've seen it happen to much lesser people. I've seen it happen to adults where shorty get the dude back. They go to to a spot. He's in the bed. They 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 chilling. He's in a compromising position because he's booty butt. You know what I mean, right? And then that door opens, and two or three dudes walk in talking about have a good night. <laughs> have a good night. Hey man, hey hey. Let's hope that nothing like that occurs. But but you know what I'm just, saying. Hey, you, hey, it's I more likely to happen. It's more know, likely hey, to happen. I know what you're saying, man. I, I don't want that one it. time I in my understand. life. I do not want that one time with any of my we, kids in my life. Nobody wants it. But what the young man did is nothing wrong with it. You know what? It's not going to be the first time that it happens. I get it. 
This is not going to be the first time it happens. But is it more about getting him to understand what the level of exposure to him is? I guess is what I'm trying to say. He knows. But maybe he doesn't doesn't fully comprehend how much exposure he's living with. Yes. Do you think he doesn't know his father is a global icon? Yes, he does. But maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does not comprehend what that means. No, he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't comprehend how that applies to him. It's a possibility. Uh, Look, the guy gets on social media and gets millions of followers right away. He understands. Yeah, but that, that that to understand that you can get millions of followers versus comprehending exactly what you represent and how that that is in correlation to your dad, it's it could be very it could be very different. That could be a very different mindset and I don't, understanding. I don't know LeBron, but they him and his wife seem like down to earth people. He, and I, this isn't he, about it no, being an indictment no, on no. how they're parenting. So, but you, he, I truly believe he gets it. Like he, he played, does. he played basketball at Sierra Canyon. He didn't play much as a freshman. And somebody that felt they were entitled should, oh, I'm, I should be starting. I should be doing. Well, they did give him MVP of a tournament and, and, that he, and did, so, he barely played in. And, and so, <laughs> just, gave it to just him. that within <laughs> itself, just, just give it to him, put it in the bag. <laughs> Just put it in the bag, TJ. Hey, but hey, but hey, at the same man, this this young man understands what his exposure is. He plays on national television and high school basketball. Trust me, he knows and he understands that normal sixteen kids, normal sixteen year old kids. Don't get to experience that because who their father is. You know, right. My dad is a my dad is LeBron James, so they're gonna put me on television. 